Good evening, everybody. It is uh, Sunday night, and I just wanted to make a quick video to address a few things and kind of tell you guys what's going to be happening here in the coming uh, winter months. But if you've seen my last video, I finally ran an 11 second pass, actually, two 11 second passes. Um, I didn't have my second 11 second pass in the video, but the one pass, the first pass that I did make in the 11s was that 11.7 at 117 miles an hour. Um, did that in my G8 GXP. And then the second was an 11.8, but the mile an hour wasn't accurate at all because somebody during the day ran into the cones in the middle and then it messed up some of the wiring. And so the mile an hour just kept getting messed up. It was like 36 miles an hour on that pass, which doesn't make sense. Like, how could I run a, in a, a high 11 second pass at only 36 miles an hour? And then some other guy ran like low 11s at over 480 miles an hour. Like, no, that don't, no, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, two 11 second passes. And for some reason, there's a few people that are like denying it, that it, it wasn't like my, me making the 11 second pass against somebody else. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like... To them for some reason. But. Oh there goes my fucking tablet. Jesus Christ. Uh, hold on. Anyway. So yeah. Here's my 11 second pass. 11.75. 117 miles an hour. So. And you can see it says. Cedar Falls Motorsports Park. Which is exactly where I raced. So, I don't know why people find that hard to believe that I run an 11.7, but there's your proof. And if you look at my Instagram, which is slow3800, um, you'll see my car looks exactly like it did in the video with those drag slicks on the back. It's exactly the setup that I have. But if you don't know my setup... Uh, it's cammed, has full exhaust, cold air intake, and 125 shot of nitrous. So, it makes uh, around 500 to the wheels. Like when I did that dyno video, the bottle wasn't fully warmed up, so I wasn't getting the full shot. But it still made 466 to the wheels, so it should be around 500 to the wheels, if not more. But, plus that mobile dyno, uh, the owners were saying that every car was reading about 10% less. So, yeah, there's uh, there's my time slip <clears throat> going for 10s next year. But anyway, so this winter I'm going to be doing, uh, finally getting the Grand Prix driving the way it should be with a five-speed manual, um, put coilovers on it, um, some Z nice ZZP coilovers since they actually make their own now. They were doing uh, BC Racing for a bit, but now they have their own brand coilovers, so... And I've heard they're pretty good. We'll do that and then uh, just do a little more maintenance on it. Just make sure it drives perfect and super, like nothing's leaking. You know, nothing's clunking in the suspension, everything like that. Get the wheels polished up really nice. And then get a 3600 FTI stall converter for the G8 and put in that low mile tranny that I've been sitting in the garage forever. So we're going to take care of that and then take it down the track again next year. And then just make, you know, make the Grand Prix nice and, you know, make the drivability really good. Make it look really good. You know, polish it. Make the paint look new again. Just do all of that stuff. So, other than that, I think that's going to be, like, my, pretty much what I focus on this winter. That's going to be enough in itself anyway. <laughs> Doing a five-speed manual conversion. That should be interesting. I mean, it's not the first time somebody's done it, so... It's not going to be a huge deal. I just got to get all the parts and just make, make sure everything works good. I'm going to have to get uh, custom axles for it, so that should be fun to figure out. But I know I've heard of there's a, there's a company between uh, somewhere on the way to Mankato that actually makes custom axles. But I should be able to get a hookup on those. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. You know, I, it's with the G8, you know, it's been my goal forever to run an 11-second pass in any car. And I finally did it. And it wasn't just like an 1199, you know, it was an 1175. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I ran an 11.8 later on that night. So 
Yeah, and the setup, it's the current setup, it's a pretty consistent 11 second car, which I'm pretty happy with. But of course, there's haters. You know, there's why well, I posted it in a local group, and some guy was like, nobody cares. Like, okay, that's you, you must be jealous because that's a pretty unnecessary comment. <laughs> An 11 second car is not slow by any means, especially a four door sedan that weighs over 4,000 pounds. And my car really doesn't have that much done to it. So I'm pretty happy. Reaching my goals, eventually I'll run tens. So thanks for uh, watching my channel and uh, keep, uh, you know, share the videos and uh, keep following. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks, guys.